How you doing guys? I know I've told you before in some of my project videos that there's an old idiom that says measure twice, cut once. And I'm pretty sure I've also told you that my motto is more like uh, measure once, cut multiple times, and swear repeatedly when I'm doing any of my projects. And uh, another issue that I've come across in my aquaponics this time is pH issues and it's getting pretty high. And I know it can be higher in new systems and it tends to go lower as they age and become more mature. I don't have a lot of fish in the system. I just have those feeder goldfish right now. I was using a um, cycle. I started. I uh, decided to use fish instead of trying to cite, uh, fishless cycling. And so that could be a reason. There's just not a lot of um, fish in there to, you know, a lot of bioactivity yet at least. But someone also commented on one of my videos and said that this type of gravel looked like it could contain limestone which would be a constant pH buffer and would really prevent my system from ever having a proper pH probably because it would constantly be buffering any acid in the in the system and would keep the pH fairly high. There's always You always want to balance between pHs for what the fish prefer and what the plants prefer but where it's at right now with the super high pH it's really preventing any nutrient uptake by the plant so there's, I'm not going to have success with the system if the pH stays where it is. So what I'm trying to find out today is if the gravel is the issue. Now I found online there's a way you can tell kind of a uh, easy test you can do and that's the fizz solution where you take this regular white vinegar which is basically a weak acid solution pour it over the gravel media that you have and if it starts to fizz off a lot you know, like one bubble here and there is not a big deal but if it's really fizzing off a lot that means that there's a lot of uh, limestone or other uh, types of things in the gravel that would keep your pH high because it would be constantly buffering. So, we're going to do the test. Let me fill this up with vinegar. It's just regular white vinegar from the grocery store. Now we will pour my gravel. I'm probably going to pour all this in so I don't want to splash it. Now there's a lot of sediment in there too because I got this right out of my bed. Out of the gravel bed. Now I don't see a lot of fizzing. Most of that is sediment. To be honest, I don't see any bubbles coming out of the out of the gravel. So I'm thinking I may be safe. Luckily, the pH issues may just be the result of an immature system getting settled, and probably don't have to do with this gravel. I don't see any bubbles coming out. So that's good. That seems to be good news. Alright, so let's back to um, testing it, see if it comes down. If not, I'll look for other sources of issues, anything that could be keeping the pH too high. In the meantime, I still think it's a just because the system, if it's not the gravel media, it must just be because the system is fairly young and I just don't have a lot of, uh, you know, biomass in there yet. To, and I, I, to be honest, the system's so young that I probably don't even have a proper nitrate, nitrate cycle yet. But that should happen within the next few weeks. If it hasn't slowly started already, I'll keep testing. Right, so it's been a few minutes now, and I see no fizz. So it's probably the pH problems that I've been having in my aquaponic system are not related to the gravel. Good news.